Well, the original idea was to create a new temporary exhibition space at Lansborough Museum. And obviously we looked at what the theme might be for the first one and uh, it just so happened that there was this amazing discovery that we actually had three dead man's pennies, which uh, really honoured the First World War Anzac campaigns. Given it's the 100 year centenary, um, that would make a very good first exhibition. They've put together a, a really remarkable first exhibition that tells the story of four um, locals um, out of about 60 people that served and helps us all to better understand what it means to have um, experienced you know, uh, the Anzac campaign. There is a great silence in terms of formal literature around um, the Great War. Um, there was a sort of veil of silence and it's understandable because it was incredibly difficult and painful for people to talk about it. But exhibitions like this really do a really, really remarkable job of sharing what are incredibly intimate postcards, writings, diaries with um, a broader community and there's nothing much more powerful than something that is not you know, deliberately scripted, it's not meant to be read by uh, a broad audience, it's just you know, a father or a son or a daughter writing home about their experiences. Really what gets in, what makes it meaningful is when you start to read or listen to the, the local stories of real human beings who were part of your community and still are to a certain extent through their descendants. Uh, Harry Hapgood was my father. It's been very emotional, <coughs> pardon me, and even yesterday when we came in and just had a quick look and I was quite amazed to see those photos and, and that really touched my heart. To think that people that I don't know went to such trouble to do such a wonderful exhibition for my father. Really it's just left living memory. Um, so now it's um, our generation's job is to try and understand how we can make that meaningful to a generation coming through who will not really understand it um, uh, either through uh, you know, their father or their grandfather. Those people are essentially uh, you know, gone. It's essential, it's part of the fabric of our very lives. Uh, young people can often think, oh that was a hundred years ago, who cares? But it's part of who we are, whether we like it or not, it is. It's part of our very being and we have to acknowledge that and give homage to it. It's not that we glorify war or anything like that, but we must acknowledge our past because how do we go on into the future? The past points the way to the future.